Hello my tarot friends, Justin Michael. Welcome back to my channel and welcome of course if it's your first time visiting. I appreciate you as always. Uh, I'm very excited to show you this gem of a tarot deck uh, that was created by my friend Gergay Bagamiri who is the founder, creator of uh, Tarot Midnight. Uh, so he has several that he has three decks now four um, in his Etsy shop, which of course I will link below. His first was the Tarot Midnight. It's a very modern TDM, and then then he did a playful uh, reimagination of the Jacques Vaville, which is just phenomenal. He's added some new cards to it. Uh, he's inverted some of the characters to match, you know, to make it sort of friendly to the uh, traditional TDM readers. Uh, and then he did a TDM RWS mashup, you know, Rider Wade Smith and Tower to Marseille sort of hybrid, you know, um, really cool. So check out his Etsy shop. It's going to be linked below. He was also on my channel for a chat, so I'm going to link that below the interview. And then I've also reviewed his deck. So if you're interested, if you haven't seen his other work, check it out below. Um, very, very cool artist. He's also very active on Instagram. You know, he's one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram. He's always doing something cool. You know, um, he tinkers a lot. I always say that, but he tinkers with the images. Um, you know, he's always doing... Uh, something with the tarot and his art uh, and that's actually how I discovered this deck and I don't know if he was ever intending to publish this um, but so you know I was seeing these images and I was like this is incredible this is probably better than anything he's put out previously and I, I hate that I'm not knocking his previous work but this is I think his best yet uh, that he's done and I'm um, just very excited to bring it to you. I hope that you like it uh, like I do um, So the Taroki 23 is the name of it and that to me suggests, you know old and new You know, it's like, you know, there's gonna be elements of traditional tarot as well as um, you know some modern and um, of course TDM because he absolutely loves TDM um, and I know that like while he was creating this art I believe he took a trip to Italy and he was inspired by a lot of the old paintings and and, and um, images there you know statues and things and so that's going to be uh, present in the deck as well so let's take a look at the cards um, really cool tuck box you know um, I know a lot of people don't like tuck, tuck boxes but this one is actually pretty sturdy um, and I like his talk boxes for one i'm not like opposed to talk boxes because i have a lot of decks and when you get a good talk box it's easy to you know makes it easy to store them uh, i love the nice glossy finish like it looks really really high quality and then one thing which is really small but it's kind of cool uh you know the inside is not white it, it's actually the color of the front of the deck so very very cool tuck box um and the card stock from Gergé is always really nice um it's very unique it's different than anything i don't know what printer he uses but it's very riffle shuffle friendly um you know they're not th real thick but they're not real thin they're kind of like perfect thickness and they have this nice matte feel but the cards are still workable do you know what I mean? Like, they just have this nice feel to it. It's very, very different. Um, and then he's opted for solid backs to sort of match, um, you know, the color of the of the tuck box. But very, very cool. Uh, and I like his little title uh, image there. You know, it's taken, I think, from his son card, which looks like the um, Visconti Sforza son, you know. But just really, really cool. So let's take a look at the images. Um, I think I'm going to have him on for another chat soon. I hope he'll come on and, and talk about this deck. Um, because it's, like I said, I think it's his best work yet. Let's look at the cards here. We have a traditional magician, um, but we don't have a number and a title. I and mean, you never see numbers or titles uh, in his trumps. You know, it's just like something that Gergay does. Um, that, for one, it makes... It allows him to sort of, along with the really small borders, it allows him to make a really big image inside the card. You know, it's all about the image. So you don't have to take up space with the title and the number, you know. It's, it's like really filled out, so it has like this big presence to it, you know. And it's really, really cool. It's one of my favorite things about this deck because it's a small deck. It's about the size of a Fournier deck. So, you know, it's, it's like that size, but... You know the presence of the image is like 
huge. It's it's got this really impacting kind of feel to it that I really like, um, but very TDM otherwise. And of course, the older tarot decks didn't have uh, numbers or titles. You know, like we have the um, Visconti Sforza here. You know, no no numbers, no titles, and so I think that's part of the inspiration for this. Um, and then we have the Papess, facial expressions, the colors, just everything looks so good. Um, and I really love that key too. It's just really, really clever. I remember seeing that image uh, on his uh, Instagram page. And so we have an Empress, very traditional, but like with his own um, touch. And I love that. I was saying that um, when I reviewed uh, the Tarot Day Ambiguities, I really like original tarot decks based on the historic patterns i really like that and you would think there would be a lot of them but i don't believe there are not not in this manner not in a totally original way you know we get mostly get a lot of um historic decks being you know designed but this is a, a totally original tarot and done very well so that's my point but <clears throat> and we have the pope and wow, I love that lover's card. I mean, that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, very cool chariot. It's very different. You know, it's it's almost TDM, but without the canopy, you know. But, uh, and just, I mean, wow. Like, what an image. I'm so glad he decided to print this. I think this is really going to be his most popular deck. I really do. Um, there's our Lady Justice, and then the Hermit. Yeah, so I mean, like, I'd like to talk to him to find out a little bit more about some of the images um, that he's taken. You know, particularly, uh, it's inspired by the, the art in Italy that he saw. So, the Strength card, La Force. Oh, the hangman. I love that. So <laughs> he's went with what a lot of people inaccurately refer to as the Swiss hangman because it's actually uh, seen in the earliest, uh, one of the earliest French decks that we have, which is the Caitlin Joffrey. Um, and nobody knows how that ended up, you know, being brought to the 18th century Swiss decks, you know, from 1500s. But very, very cool. And wow, look at that death card. I mean, this is a phenomenal deck. This is really, really cool. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. And if you like Historic Tarot, I can't see how you wouldn't like this. I really, I mean, I, I, I see a lot of people getting very excited about this. I love that, you know. So, I mean, it kind of has like, it reminds me a little of the Triomphi della Luna in a, in a, in a way, but not not the same like it's much more believably historic if that makes sense love that tower just you know with the flames coming out it's just really really cool images and again his art style is very um you know cartoonish and, and comical yeah so you know you have the star in the visconti spores and that's where these images are coming from and it seems to be the uh, what I always call the hierarchy of lights, but um, you know the 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 sun, the moon, the stars. Um, you know he's taken some of them from the Visconti Sforza. So let's just flip through and see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's very similar. I really like that. You know, but then again, he's added his own little elements. Not sure exactly where you know he's he's gotten that from, but then um, you know her feet are submerged in water too so oh yeah look at that wow that's so beautiful i love this i i really like what he's done with this it's going to be so fun to read with judgment and the world and of course he went with like a very tdm looking world but uh so that's the trumps oh and then we have our fool which is really cool look at that i mean it's so naughty and and fun he's just like a, he has like this kind of mischievous uh quality to him you know um but i love that it's just so fun this is this is a classic deck it really is okay so let's see what he's done with the pips now i noticed just looking at it the pips had a very kind of piedmontese 
or Italian feel to them, but also French too. Like you know, so we're gonna look like the wands you'll see, or the batons look very French, but the the cups and the coins look very Italian to me. Um, I just love that. Even the colors, like um, really really cool. Gergay Bagamiri Taroki twenty three. Three of coins. Oh well, look at that. Yeah, I mean, Tower of Paris maybe, um, and a few others. Okay, let's look at the court cards. <laughs> they're they're just so cool. I love it. I love this. I love this deck. And look, he went with the centaurs. So he's got uh, the centaur knights, you know, which I think he borrowed from probably the Rosenwald. And the queen and the king. I mean, how cool was this freaking deck? I mean, it's so cool. Yeah, this is the part that really reminded me of like the Piedmont decks, 18th century decks that you see, the 19th, 19th century decks that you see from like the Piedmont region. Um, with like the flowers and stuff. And some of the Tower de Marseilles too had that. I can't wait to read with it. <laughs> okay. Let's see what he's done here. Yep. So, you know, really cool. Court cards here. I'm guessing they're all centaurs. Um, queen and king. And we have the ace, I mean, four, five, Look at that hairstyle. I mean, is this just not a cool deck? I mean, I love the really big heads and just it's just a cool art style. And the, the hairdo is very Marie Antoinette kind of feel the, in the court cards. Really clever. He's such a talented artist. The swords are very, you know, uh, they, they look very TDM in a way. You know, if you're a TDM reader, uh, you know, you'll find this really easy and familiar to work with and then these core cards are just great you know love that hairstyle and the pages like pages are sort of like androgynous i guess all the figures are somewhat androgynous um which is uh, you know i mean that's tarot for you you know uh but i love the suit of armor here on the centaur I mean, the centaurs are f great they're just really really cool uh and all the hairstyles and the funny faces just a instant classic for me really really love this deck uh and this was one that i glazed over sort of um the two of cups has budapest and napoli on it 2023 so i'm guessing he was uh in naples that's where he took a trip to and he was inspired by all the art um the italian art um, so just a phenomenal deck. I mean, this is an absolute classic. Very excited for Gergay. I hope he will come back on my channel um, to tell us all about his trip uh, and all the images that he saw um, and talk about this deck. Um, but anyway, check out the Etsy shop. This is available right now. Um, you can order from him. Uh, check him out on Instagram. He's really very active on Instagram. Um, and it's just fun to watch. Uh, and uh, check out the interview that I did with him as well. But anyway, thank you for tuning in. Any questions or comments, leave them below. And until next time, everyone, love and peace.